Hi everyone, this is Joanne with A Work in Progress and welcome to another episode of Crafter Day. Today I want to show you how to make a, a smaller version of this adorable 3D wall hanging that features little birds that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, uh, some rope that was purchased at the Dollar Tree, some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well, and then the frame I purchased at a thrift store. So, we're going to be making a smaller version of that using this frame that I picked up at a, um, actually I got this frame for free now that I think about it, but I did see a, a, a nice rectangular one that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need a frame, you're going to need the rope from the Dollar Tree, and some chalk paint, an old kind of stipply brush, the burlap ribbon, some adorable little birds that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, these bigger birds are a dollar a pack and then the two little guys come together in a pack for a dollar. You're going to need a pair of scissors, some pliers, and your trusty glue gun. So in the interest of time for this project, go ahead and move you down so you can see what I'm doing here. I went ahead and just dry brushed this picture frame with some white um, and then I went ahead also now the rope was a little bit too thick for this smaller frame so what I just did was I unraveled some of it to make a smaller piece of rope that the birds will sit on and I went ahead and hot glued about a third of the way up on this inner lip as you can see there on the picture frame and then you're going to stretch your rope across and I'm just kind of eyeballing it straight across there and then I'm going to use this little skewer to press it into place so that I don't burn my fingers on the glue turn this around and I'll hold that like that there we go that's better and I'm just going to press that into place there. And you want to use a good amount of glue so that your rope doesn't come undone on you. I go add a little bit extra in here just to make it good and secure. It's a great thing about the glue using the glue gun. It really does dry pretty quickly. There we are. So we're going to set that aside for just a minute while that kind of dries. And then the birds, the larger birds, you'll see come with a clip on their bellies. You just want to take your pliers and pull that clip right out because we don't need that. And the little baby birds come with this little wire in their belly. Pull that out. We don't need that either. Now, the uh, burlap ribbon that I'm using is wider. I know that the Dollar Tree sells a, a, thin, a thinner, this width, actually, of the green burlap. I don't have that, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Now, what I'm going to do, right where... And see how that hits there, right where the rope starts. I'm going to start putting a bead of glue just inside that little ledge. So another stick of glue there. And I'm just going to gently press that in to the glue, get it all into the corner there. There we go. So this one's actually going to look like it's, it's grass, which I think is kind of cool. I'll flip this over. All of this excess we're going to cut off. And then I'm going to put a bead of glue right down here. Oh, I'm running out of glue. Come on here. 
go. Doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Okay. A little bit of glue down here. And make sure that my grass, so to speak, is even up there. Go ahead and press that down. Actually, I can barely feel the heat of that glue. That's good. <laughs> And keep going this entire lip here. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off right up here. Right up to there. Stretch that across. And just poke that down with my fingers. Okay, let's see how we're looking on the front. There we go. Make sure this is all nice and secured in here. I'm going to give this just a few minutes to dry. Okay, and then my scissors, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess here. And you can clean this up to make it even prettier on the back, which I will probably do after we're finished here. Cut off all the X steps. Oops, there we go. And I'm gonna cut off that excess rope there as well. Okay, so that's how we have it right there, okay? That was easy enough. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take on the kind of the underside of the rope right here. I'm going to run a little bit of glue and just kind of adhere the ribbon on the burlap ribbon onto that just to um, prevent, eliminate kind of that gap between there. And for this, you're going to use a little bit of glue so you really can't see it. right along that under edge there and then just kind of there we go okay see what I'm doing there okay pull up these little wisps of glue and there we have it now, next is the really fun part is to where to deciding where to put where to put your little birds. Um, now the thing with the birds is you're gonna want to put them so that they're actually sitting, okay? Now you can see from the back though, they're gonna be sticking out on the back. So that's why you're gonna do one of two things, or you can do one of two things with this. This can be hung on a wall, but the nail, you're not going to put it really close to the wall. You're going to stick it out a bit so that it kind of, like this, it kind of um, hangs there. It's suspended. Or what I'm going to do with this at work is I'm just going to lean it up against uh, maybe a, a plant over here or something like that uh, so that the little birds can have, can you know, you can, they won't be squashed up against a wall. So let's just play around here and see where we might want to put our little guys. Um, no, I think I'll put him, oh yeah, that like that, I like that. And then our little baby birds, maybe one there, and put him opposite like that. Okay, so let me just move them here so I know how I want to, to place them. And then it doesn't take much glue to get these little things to sit on here. But you do want to hold them until they dry. This is so cute when it's finished. It is just adorable. Come on there, Mama. Here we go. All right. And then the little baby can go right here. There we 
go and just like mom and then the other little guy we will put oops, I don't push my there we go how to push my glue down and I kind of want to offset these so they're not really symmetrical there we go put that little baby in an opposite direction see cute that's looking I think it looks adorable and then oh no <laughs> Got a baby bird falling. There we go. Alrighty. And then lastly, we'll have this brown. We'll put him over here. Yep, okay, we'll put him right there. All up to you where you want to put your little birds. And we'll sit him there and just hold on to him until he is finished. Or at least closer to being dried. There. And just pull off these little wisps of kind of like spider webby things from the the glue. And that right there, you can kind of see the glue underneath of him, but you can just wipe that off. And there's another wisp here. I can see some. There we go. And that's it. You are finished. Isn't that adorable? I think that is just so, so sweet. I love this. I love it. I can't wait to get this to work tomorrow and put it up at my desk. It'll be my, my happiness <laughs> at work. So that's it, guys, for this episode of Crafter Day. If you liked this video and um, you're going to give this a try, please give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you'd like, if you know anybody that likes to do crafting and might enjoy this as well, go ahead and share that video. And if you are currently a subscriber, I thank you very much for that. And if you do like crafting videos and thrift haul videos and home decor, DIYs, that sort of thing, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And um, until our next crafter day or our next haul, I hope you all have a fabulous next couple of days. And thank you so much for watching. Take care until then. Bye-bye.